Hi students, welcome to Samachir Study YouTube channel. In this video, book back one more questions will be discussed from Standard 10 Science Unit 1 Loss of Motion Chapter. True or False learnthu assertion and reasoning questions for you answer paakla students. First, state whether the following statements are true or false. Correct the statements if it is false. Linear momentum of a system of particles is always conserved. Students, this is a statement enna, when there is no net external force. That is, external force is not conserved. Linear momentum of system of particles is conserved. You have linear momentum m into v. So, linear momentum conserve conserved, there is external force. So, this statement is false. You have to correct the statement as when there is no net external force, the linear momentum of a system of particles is conserved. Next question. Apparent weight of a person is always equal to his actual weight. In the question, you answer the apparent weight of the person. Apparent weight of the weight that you feel to possess during up and down motion. That is why feel the weight. Up and down motion lift problem you are learning. So, up and down motion le irukum bode, and the body yenda oru weight avandha acquire ponnu do due to the gravity and other external forces. Adha tha apparent weight un solvo. So, in the statement false, apparent weight of a person is not always equal to his actual weight. Idha correct answer. Next question, weight of a body is greater at the equator and less at the polar region. So, in the question you can answer it, you can get a basic concept. That is, G, acceleration due to gravity. That is, the radius of earth, geometric radius of earth or the relationship students. G is directly proportional to 1 by R square. That is, if R increase, G less. The two are inverse proportional relationship. So, now what is the concept? In polar regions, the R value is less. So, R less is G. G is acceleration due to gravity. G value is higher. So, when G is high, your weight will be more. You know the equation theriyo, weight equal to mass multiplied by G. So, G higher hum bodhu, and the edathil weight hum higher hum. So, polar region le, or lesser ikradhu nala, weight greater hum hum. Adhe idhu, equator regions le, opposite hum hum. So, weight of a body is less at the equator. It is greater at the polar region. Idha, adho da correct answer. Turning a nut with a spanner, having a short handle is so easy than one with a long handle. So, in the question you can answer it, you can the turning effect of the concept. Turning effect is what you depend on. Distance between the fixed edge and the point of application of force. So, you can see the distance is very high, less force apply panna apply. So, turning a nut with spanner, having a longer handle is easy than with the short handle. If you short handle, use a lot of force apply. So, in the statement of false. Next question. There is no gravity in the orbiting space station around the earth. So, the astronauts feel weightlessness. So, in the question, you can understand or misunderstand. Astronauts feel weightlessness. That is the reason why gravity is not It is called as free fall condition. So, free fall condition is equal to apparent weight is equal to zero. Acceleration is equal to acceleration due to gravity. That is A G is equal to G. Acceleration G is equal to G. Apparent weight is zero. This is the free fall condition. So, the answer is Astronauts are not floating but falling freely around the earth due to their huge orbital velocity. Next match the following. Match the following la Newton's law and law of conservation of linear momentum. That's the applications match. 
So Newton's first law. Newton's first law. This is the inertia concept based on So stable equilibrium of body. So Newton's first law padi yendu object me equilibrium thale irukrada patti. Adhadu inertia condition apatti me explain ponnu. Newton's second law F equal to m into a. So law of force. Newton's third law action and reaction. Sariya? So Newton's third law ke example flying nature of bird. Law of conservation of linear momentum. Conservation of linear momentum is the best example. Propulsion of a rocket. So, this match the following good answers. Next, assertion and reasoning type questions. First question. Assertion. The sum of the clockwise moments is equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments. So, this is the moment sort of concepts. Clockwise and anti-clockwise moments equal in the So, assertion is true. Adhuthu pathing na reason. The principle of conservation of momentum is valid if the external force on the system is zero. This is the first question true or false la pato. Conservation of momentum. It is valid arukko, external force on the system is zero. So, reason is true tha. Both assertion and reason is true. But, the reason is not explaining assertion. So, momentum concept you use pannni, ninga moment explain pannna mudiyadu. So, answer is B. Both assertion and reason are true, but the reason is not the correct explanation of the assertion. Next question. The value of G decreases as height and depth increases from the surface of the earth. So, if in the assertion pathing and sonna, G on the yapri ruko height and depth increase ahum bodhi, G yapri ruko so irkranga. The assertion statement true. Ada the higher altitude on the mari ahum bodhi, G reduce ahum. Ada mari center part of the earth la value of G is zero. Okay, so when you move deep below the surface of the earth, value of G reduces. So, it is the G or the concept. So, assertion is true. For reason pakala. G depends on the mass of the object and the earth. G when the mass of the object depends on the earth. This is wrong. G when the world mass depends on the mass of the earth. Over matter contained in the body. So reason is false. So option C. Assertion is true but the reason is false. This is the correct answer students. Okay students, hope you understand all these questions. If you like this video, please subscribe and share it to your friends. Thank you so much for watching.